Hello YouTube, this is Tim Canadian Comic Hunter coming at you with another comic book haul. Alright, so this might be my last haul of the year, depending on uh, postal service. So in, here in, up in Canada, <laughs> we've been dealing with uh, postal issues, uh, postal strikes, and um, it's been pretty hard to get certain comic books um, from um, the mail. <laughs> so uh, buying comic books and, you know sending combo books to people, anything that basically is using the mail, we're not getting our mail, and there's a backlog right now in mail. So that is what's been going on here, and that's what's been a problem, I guess. So uh, that's, uh, anyways, so this is my haul. <laughs> and uh, get things started, we're gonna look at some modern books. Uh, I just wanted to give a shout out, uh, before I start, to a couple YouTubers. Yeah, I just wanted to, you know, give some thanks back to some people that I've uh, been checking out their channels uh, for the last like I don't know year or two. Sometimes some of the some of these guys are newer. Anyways, I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, Jill's uh, J I L L S three one one Jill's three eleven. Just check out his channel. He's uh, <laughs> picked up some massive massive hauls in the last. Um, I guess two videos so definitely please check him check his uh his channel out you won't be definitely uh amazed on what he's picked up because i've never seen uh so many keys in uh a couple of his videos you know so jill's 311 uh batman comics 87 um a really great collector has uh basically <laughs> a killer collection um, I would definitely uh, binge watch some of his videos if you want to find out some info on some of these keys, some of the things he knows. He has no, he's got a lot of knowledge, so check it out. And uh, 88 Jester, he's been around for quite a long time, but uh, in the last few, I guess, year or so, I guess he's been around. But he just hasn't put out a lot of content, but definitely he's getting back in the game, so I just want to give him a shout out. So you go check out his channel, you know. Um, so 88 Jester, yeah, he was around before I was, so... I think anyway, so anyways, uh, just want to give a shout out to all those guys and let's uh, start with the haul. So the uh, first part of this haul is going to consist of modern books. Uh, some of these books I picked up again, uh, this is probably the end of the, um, <laughs> the collection that I was going through. So uh, I'll show you some things I picked up. So the first, first uh, issue that I picked up was this Justice League of America. I think it's a third printing, or it could be a third variant. Anyways, uh, it's a uh, Michael Turner cover, Justice League of America number one. Just really awesome cover. I love these kind of kind of covers that are um, sketches. So this is a really nice one. Just wanted to show that one off. I picked this up at a comic book store. Uh, one of the last like honey holes that I have in Montreal because a lot of them are pretty dried up. So. Uh, this was uh, there and I wanted to pick it up. It's Eric Powell's he Hellbilly number one. Just a really awesome cover. Uh, nothing really significant about this book. I don't think it's been optioned. Um, just really liked it. Uh, it's a lower print run. It's Albatross uh, Comics. So if you guys know what that is, independent comic book uh, distributor. So this book was hot like a few years ago. Anyways, just really, really cool. Hellbilly. So. Uh, this is the Life of Captain Marvel number one, uh, reprinted cover, I guess it's uh, 
one of those store variants or San Diego Comic-Con, I don't know. Uh, I picked this up online when it came out. Didn't pay a lot for it. I know the, uh, the, the uh, original um, variant is ex extremely expensive. I just wanted to have this just for art purposes. So uh, really happy to have that in my collection as a, just like a reprinted artwork. Uh, this is Power Girl number two. Got this from that collection off of the same person I was talking about for the last few hauls. Uh, this is an Adam Hughes cover. I've always wanted to have this one. Glad to have it in my collection. Really cool cover. Got this from that collection also. Ultimate Fallout number four, still in the bag. Uh, this book seems to be on the rise. A lot of the 9.8s, 9.8 copies are going for like insane prices right now. So, anyways, uh, first appearance of Miles Morales. Got this finally, Lady Bullseye variant. 111. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> Daredevil 111. Sorry. Uh, this is the variant uh, copy by Terry Dodson and Rachel Dodson, I think. Anyways, really awesome cover. Uh, wanted to have this for a very long time. Uh, said pretty good copy. Pretty uh, pretty awesome. Pick this up. Also, Runaways number one. First appearance of the Runaways. Uh, always wanted to have this book. Really really cool book. Uh, used to go for a a lot more I think it's starting to come back down to earth because this show is kind of tapering off that's why I was able to get a copy <laughs> always good to buy your comic books uh, when things are not in uh, basically panic mode where people are trying to buy up a copy to miss their their fear of missing out I guess on the on the series or the thing that comes out so sometimes it's really good not to just buy when things are hot and wait to things cool down and then you can find something for a price that you're willing to pay for it <laughs> All right, so uh, this is uh, JSA classified number one. Another uh, first, well, it's another Adam Hughes. I uh, really like this. There was a crease down the middle, so I got a pretty good deal on it. It's uh, probably pressable, but I, you know, so anyways. Got this at a Comic-Con that I was at recently. Uh, old man, man Logan Wolverine. This is uh, 66. I think this is the beginning of the old man Logan uh, run not the first appearance of old man Logan. This is the there's just the run of it anyway, so just really cool uh, I've never had this before paid a couple bucks for it. So pretty happy to get it so. Okay, so the last two books were kind of special uh, these were a flea market finds a uh, Long time ago basically I haven't put them in a video because I've been trying to mix, mix and match my videos to make sure of my anyways just how I do things so this is uh, New Mutants number uh, 100, first appearance of uh, X, X, uh, what? <laughs> uh, X-Force, <laughs> sorry. Um, X-Factor, sorry. Anyways, uh, first appearance of X-Factor. Uh, again, was at a flea market this summer, was looking around for different things, and yeah, so um, ended up going across the table where this woman was selling a bunch of, um, I guess it was like Jesus and crucifixes and statues. <laughs> it was very odd. And then there was a box of comics in the corner. So I was able to get not just 110, uh, 100. I got New Mutants 98, which uh, first appearance of um, Shatterstar. Yeah. Anyways. So yeah. Anyways, uh, got those two. For a pretty good price so uh, on with the haul anyways the next part of this haul is gonna be uh, basically uh, Silver Age books or Bronze Age books that I picked up in the last like few months anyways this is a really cool uh, Wonder Woman book uh, 178 I think it's the first appearance where she dons her new kind of look so Really wanted to have this, got this for a super good deal, so pretty happy to get that. I got this one, Batman 210. Picked this up after all that stuff with the Catwoman um, Batman wedding. Thought it was, uh, <laughs> was a bust, so I uh, just thought this was kind of cool. Another Bondage Batman cover. Uh, she dons a new costume in this one. That's kind of cool. Some minor key to own. Uh, this is Teen Titans 26, 
first appearance of Maul Duncan. He was uh, a Teen Titan for a little bit during the, this run. So just a really cool, really nice cover. To, it's got some issues, of course, but you know, I wasn't looking for I wasn't looking for a high grade copy of this. I was just looking for something that I wanted at that point in time. So it's kind of cool. It's Teen Titans 22. Uh, if this is the, uh, for, it's again, it's a, <laughs> a minor key where Wonder Girl dons a new look, has a new costume, and I think it's also the first. Uh, writing of um, Neil Adams on the Teen Titans series so it's kind of cool really cool uh, really cool cover got out of con recently Teen Titans number 45 first appearance of Karen Belcher who ends up becoming um, Bumblebee so uh, this book was hot for a bit I don't know what happened with that but just kind of cool I just always enjoy the Teen Titans the can't wait to see the TV show on Netflix. Haven't really watched too much of it online yet, so I'm just waiting for this one. Okay, so this is a Phantom Stranger. This was an upgrade copy for the book because I've I had one, but it had a little bit of rusting on it. Phantom Stranger. Well, it's not Phantom. Showcase presents Phantom Stranger uh, 80. It's the first Silver Age appearance of the Phantom Stranger. Um, one of these characters I really like. They don't do anything with, but uh, I think like him and. Uh, the Spectre and uh, <laughs> the, all those kind of characters that are kind of o overpowered, but still have like really cool, uh, cool uh, characters and stuff like that. They just kind of don't do anything with, you know, so and, and the keys are still pretty affordable. So if you're looking to buy something that's kind of cool and superhero ish and still has a darker kind of like a Constantine feel, the Phantom Stranger is definitely something to read. Uh, fighting Force, <laughs> Our Fighting Force 121. Uh, this is the first appearance of Heller. She was, the, f I think, the first female in this comic series that wasn't a dude that was in the army. I just really love this cover. Uh, totally underrated cover. And uh, yeah, uh, love the yellows. Got this for a really good deal at the con too. My lord goodness. It's a Bronze Age, The Amazing Spider-Man annual uh wedding uh, special uh, with the uh, without the rogues Romita cover uh just a really clean copy it wasn't gonna leave it there it was pretty it was pretty pretty good price so brave and the bold 91 uh, i've been trying to pick up some of these brave and the bold for my uh, run uh nothing special about this just a really cool um like uh cover with uh, black canary on it so i just wanted to add to that <laughs> Looks like a motorcycle crash, which is uh, not funny, but it just uh, was really well done. I just, I love this cover, so. Got this, Detectives uh, Comics Batman 355. Uh, first appearance of the Hangman. He kind of reminded me of uh, of uh, one of the characters in Gotham, so I just wanted to buy this. I just <laughs> thought it was kind of cool. I just uh, really like this cover, so. Got Hawk and Dove number one. Uh, yeah, just another really cool uh, Hawk and Dove cover. Nothing uh, special. Not their first appearance anyhow, but just their first uh, ongoing series. Uh, this won't be the Hawk and Dove that's in Titans. <laughs> Secret Six number one. This is the first appearance of the Secret Six. I think this was optioned. Not sure. <laughs> it's a different t uh, Mockingbird anyways. Not the same Mockingbird. Um, just a really cool cover. Got it for pretty cheap before that movie blew up or came out with um, speculation for that movie. This is one of these books that I've been looking for for a very long time. I'm super happy to own. Uh, this is Batman 189. Again, um, first appearance of Jonathan Crane as the Scarecrow. Uh, detached cover, but a low grade copy, but I. <laughs> At least I got a copy of this finally. Um, very happy to have this in my collection. So just a really awesome Scarecrow cover. Uh, I said uh, it would be awesome to get this. One of my favorite characters in uh, the Batman series. I hope they continue to use him throughout continuity. And for my big book of uh, this haul, besides that one, Uncanny X-Men 129. First appearance of the Hellfire Club. 
Emma Frost, and all the gang, <laughs> and Sebastian, and all that. Anyways, it's it's a cool book to own. I've wanted this for a long time. I've seen this in a lot of people's videos. This is the direct edition. One of the reasons I picked it up too. Uh, a little harder to get direct edition uh, direct editions back then, so just wanted to get it. Um, never had this as a key, and uh, seen it a lot in a lot of videos. And I'm kind of happy to have it finally. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, sorry guys, I've not been feeling too great. Uh, been uh, been up and down lately. Sorry if I'm not as chipper in this video. <laughs> Just trying to get this finished for the for the year, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys soon. And um, yeah, like I said, uh, keep collecting the things you love to collect, no matter what anyone says or thinks about them. And you know what, honestly, just keep looking out there because the deals are there, just don't rush on them. Try to wait and when you feel that a price is there that you're comfortable with paying, pay for it, but don't overpay, you know, don't get sucked into the hype. All right, I will uh, talk to you later and uh, have yourself a happy holidays and uh, I'll try to get my uh, best of 2018 video out before the New Year's. Okay, peace guys.